What's up everybody, Buffalo K here, and today we're gonna go over a little bit of market trends. These are very, very simple to track. We've had the exact same trends happen pretty much since launch with a little bit of variance here and there. Uh, but this is a huge advantage you can use to make yourself a good chunk of coins very, very easily without even having to spend a whole lot. You can see we're up to almost 3.3 million coins. A lot of that has been done by buying cards at the right time and selling them at the right time. You can always buy them and sell them immediately if you know what they're worth, okay? But to find out what they're worth, jump into the auction house, jump down here, just go to quality, right? We just wanna focus on core elites right now, 80 to maybe 85. All right, so we wanna go through here. Let's go to newest to make sure we're seeing newest. Uh, actually, no, we don't even really need to see newest because not everybody even knows how to filter that market and that's really how you make coins. So you're seeing 80, 80 to 81s are selling for at a minimum, at a minimum 11.5, right? So just to make sure, just to make sure, let's go to core elites alone and see what these guys drop to. So 11,000, I'm gonna bet 11,000 is probably your safest. These are a little bit inflated right now uh, with the team of the week cards that have come out. Not, not the price, the price is not inflated for those, but the number of cards posted right now uh, is inflated because of those team of the week cards. So as of right now, we know that for 11,000 coins, these are gonna sell. See, just like that on cue, Kirk Cousins sells 11,000 coins. In a few days, he's gonna be worth a lot less than that. We'll show you what we mean. Let's go to 82, 83s, just get a good uh, base price point here. 18,000, these are on a crazy tear right now. Uh, way, way higher than they, than they were. We bought a ton of these cards for almost half not long ago. So 82, 83s, we're at 18,000, 84, 85s. These ones here stay pretty stagnant, okay? Don't try to make a ton of money on 84 to 85s. These prices have not budged at all. Trust me, I did not memorize these prices. Look, guys, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Let's go right here. And we have a little fancy tool that we have developed here. All right, this is my price tracker. It's not a price guide, it's a price tracker. And what I do is all I do is I track the prices of the different types of cards and some of the special cards that are out at that time. And I'd like to track the bundles available too because these actually have a pretty big impact on prices so one of the key things you're going to notice like all these different colors and whatnot it, it lets me know when is the time to buy okay so right off the bat let me slide this over once you can see the days of the week thursday and friday almost every single week is going to be some of our lowest time to buy cards on 80 to 83s, all right? 84 to 85s, remember, don't take a look at these. Look, these prices are pretty stagnant. They don't move a whole hell of a lot. You're not gonna make a ton off of these. So on days like this, right? 50, this says 15,000, 14,500. These were the bottom selling prices. You were able to flip these at 11,000 all day. We bought a ton of these. We bought over 100 cards last week between 80 and 83 and flip them a few days later, okay? On Thursday, we bought a ton at 11,000. We waited until Monday and we were selling them for almost 20,000. That is a huge profit on every single card. So do not miss out on this. It's all about timing the markets. So let's go back to the market real quick and see what we're talking about here. All right, let's go back down to 80 to 80 once, right? So the easiest way to go through these, we're on buy now. Let's go to newest just to make sure we're seeing the newest cards. We know they sell for 11,000. So just go on here, flip through position by position. You can see uh, what we're looking for at 11,000. I'd kind of like to buy cards at 9,000 or less. I don't really want to go too much higher than that. Uh, that's a small profit. We don't need a huge profit, but we do want something decent, you know, something we can uh, we can live off of. Fullbacks, centers, and actually the rest of your linemen are a whole different ball game. So careful in there. They're going to be a lot higher. Like this guy right here, Devontae Parker, 8,500. We're going to grab him. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sell him for 11,000. Not a monster profit. Okay, it's not a monster profit, but you don't need to make a monster profit because you're going to be able to do this consistently. Like right now, cards are high, so I want to get rid of these right now. I don't want to hold these. In tomorrow, tomorrow when prices drop, uh, then we're going to be looking for these cards for under 7,000. I'm going to tell you we're going to find a ton of them. We're going to buy them at under 7,000, and we're going to wait until next Monday or Tuesday. We're going to check our prices, see when they spike, and we're going to sell them again for a huge profit. It works every single week, and there's a simple reason for it, right? So your biggest driver of price is not training points. Some people keep coming out and they tell me, oh, training points drive the market. Training points are going to keep the market up. I don't think that's true. I think that the biggest, the two biggest things that drive the market is one, availability, 
and two will be tokens. So before Monday was, or Monday is usually our highest time to, to sell cards. And why is that? What happens on Monday? Monday, we get a bunch of new cards. We get flashback cards. We get veteran cards. Those cards come out on Mondays. So and to get those cards, you need elite tokens. That drives up the price on core elite cards immensely every single week because everybody wants the new flashback cards. EA is throwing tons and tons and tons of content at us this year. And people are, are loving it, right? Everybody's loving it. Everybody's doing flashback sets and veteran sets, trying to pull these monster cards. These cards are not super expensive, so it's not a bad time to, to flip them. But Monday seems to be the worst day every single week to buy. And these, these cards are actually still really high for a Wednesday. But tomorrow, there's one for 69. We'll buy that guy. <clears throat> Told you, it's easy. It's easy to make these coins. 6,900. Go ahead and flip them for 11. Piece of cake. Tons of coins coming in nonstop. You don't need to make a ton on each card, right? If you make a couple thousand uh, on each card, trust me, it goes up and it goes up fast. All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow, Thursday, Thursday is when we expect prices to drop because on Thursdays, we get primetime cards. And these guys here are the most valuable cards in the game, arguably. Arguably the absolute most valuable cards in the game because their quick sale value is 500,000. So they never go under 500,000. So if you can pull one of these cards on a Thursday out of a get a gold player, out of a gold premium pack, whatever you want to open up, you instantly make profit. Another thing that comes out on Thursday, usually new bundles. If it's a good bundle that a lot of people are going to buy and have a decent chance at pulling elites, that's going to create a huge influx of cards into the marketplace. The more cards that go in, the cheaper they get, right? It's simple supply and demand. It happens every single week. Do not miss this, guys. Again, Monday's the best time to sell. Thursday, Friday, usually the best time to buy. Tomorrow, also, we have our first monthly weekend league rewards coming out. That should be a big chunk of cards coming out. Not only are we looking at primetime cards, but a lot of the guys that play Weekend League, you guys know, I know you're waiting for them. You guys have a shot at grabbing full legend Gatorade players, not the little guys. We're talking the big guys, right? Expect JJ Watts card to drop. I don't know how much he's going to drop. Maybe he'll get to 400. Maybe he'll go to less. I know early on we saw him sitting around 405 for a little while, right after 405 for a little while, right after they launched. He, I'm going to think he's going to get probably back down to that point. So if you're waiting for a Gatorade player, if you really want this JJ Watt card, wait until tomorrow there's going to be a bunch of new full legend boss gatorade players coming in the market tomorrow along with everything else that people are going to pull out of their monthly weekend league rewards packs All right so you you take the the weekend league rewards packs you add that on top of whatever new bundle is going to come in and replace this one right now we should have a bundle that's going to be replaced tomorrow where we get 15 hours this pack will be done in 15 hours and we're going to get a new one so thursday new bundles rewards packs and prime time so people are going to be ripping packs left and right if we get really good prime to or yeah if we get really good prime time cards again people are going to go crazy trying to get these cards so do not miss it guys real fast sell on mondays buy on thursday fridays you're gonna make a really really good profit every single week and you don't have to spend all day on it. Do not feel like you need to go in and spend five hours trying to flip cards. That's not what I wanted. Let's go back to the auction house. Do, you do not have to spend a lot of time trying to flip cards, especially on Thursdays. Go in there, buy four or five of them. Just flip through. Go to 8081s, 8283s. These 8283s are the best, but on these guys especially, you have to go to newest. Do not go buy now because you might, you might miss that Tyree card. Uh, that sells for, you know, 65, 70,000 coins uh, for, you know, 10. I've seen them as low as like 15,000 before. So make sure you're on newest. Make sure you're seeing 59 minutes. You know what they're selling for. There's a tie right there for 87,000. People make mistakes all the time. They don't realize what they're putting up. They can put that card up for 12, 13, 14,000, and you're making a ton right off the bat. Also, on uh, tomorrow, keep an eye on these legend guys if these guys if we get good legends again this weekend which i don't know how much else they can bring out legends have been phenomenal so far 
but if we get good legends again people are going to want to do the legend set where you turn in three version one legend cards for your uh a version four or version five legend card that's going to drive these prices up these prices are getting a little low right now lower than they have been these were thirty thousand coins when they first came out right now we're sitting about twenty six thousand. not too bad if we go down i bet you we'll find some even lower twenty one thousand. So watch these tomorrow. There's going to be an influx of these cards also tomorrow. So 21,000, not a bad price. Uh, if it jumps up to 30, if you have the coins to spare, you can go ahead and buy these cards up tomorrow. If you get a good value on them and expect them to go up to about 28, 29,000 again on Saturday. So that's it, guys. Those are your simple, simple market tips. Please take them to heart. Please go and use them this weekend. Make yourself a ton of coins. And it gives you a break from playing Weekend League, right? While you're sitting there getting irritated or ecstatic playing Weekend League, depending on how it's going. Either way, if you need a 10, 15 minute break, go ahead, snipe some cards and sit and hold them. Do not feel like you have to get rid of them right away. Prices go up on Monday because tokens are the biggest driver of the market. Thanks for watching my video, guys. If you liked it, please do me a favor and like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Twitch where we try to give you guys more market tips every single day.